Hi everyone, Dave Flint from Flint Heart Australia. Today we're going to be drawing a giraffe by tracing around your hand, using your hand as a bit of a template. Uh, it's an elementary school or primary school based activity, so not too difficult for the younger students. Um, come and join me. You don't need a lot. Pencil, some, something to colour in with or a marker, something like that to trace around your hand. So having said that, come and join me. Let's draw this giraffe and let's get creative. Okay, hi boys and girls. Now that we've got all our supplies ready, we're going to start drawing our giraffe using your hand as a template. So the first thing you want to do is put your hand on your paper, just like that. That sort of shape there towards the top of the page so that you can uh, fit the giraffe's neck in, which is going to be part of your arm there. Now, you can choose to do this with a grey lead pencil first if you like, or you can just go straight out with uh, texter and go around your fingers, just like that. So sort of position your hand like that with your middle finger down, it's underneath your hand. So here we go. Let's trace it now. We've got a Sharpie here, and I'm just going to go around my arm and my hand like this, try not to go too quickly just in case you make a mistake, especially if you're using Sharpie. If you're using grey lead, not too bad because you can rub it out a little. So around like that, all the way down to the bottom of the paper and then take your hand away and you're left with that shape there. and. Once you've got that shape, you can then start filling in the other parts of the giraffe. So we can start the construction of the giraffe here. So first of all, what you do is you come down, draw a line like this, back up again, like that. Then draw a, a line that sort of comes over here. This is the front part of his nose, sort of goes like that. Then you draw two big nostrils, because giraffes tend to have quite big nostrils. So we draw two big nostrils like that. And next, what we do is we draw some eyes. So I'm going to draw an eye here and an eye here, like that. So I'll try and make them around about the same size, doesn't matter too much. Like this, like that. And another one here, like that. And then a little bit there. Giraffe looking a little bit dopey, but that's okay. It's first thing in the morning. So, the next part of the giraffe is oh, I forgot to colour in his eyes here. Let's colour those in there. You can do all the colouring part last of all if you want, but I'll just do mine quickly like that. Then I got to do a bit of hair on the top of his head here, and that's sort of going to come down like this. Some sort of design like that. Next I'm going to draw his ears in um, and that sort of looks like this with a bit of a curve line here like that and then another one over here sort of a squiggly line and then a bit of a curve shape up that way. So you can see our giraffe's taking shape. It's looking pretty good so far. Now you also notice, girls and boys, that I've got a placemat underneath my work. When you're using textures, or especially Sharpies, uh, you'll need to make sure that it's not going straight through the printer paper because we're using just normal printer paper here. We're not using the cartridge paper we'd use in the art room. So next, I'm going to start drawing some of the designs on the giraffe's neck, uh, which are those sort of patterns that they have on their, their skin or their fur. They're a bit furry. Um, so let's just draw a couple of shapes like this, another one here, another one down here, sort of a bit different. So all the shapes can be sort of a little bit different. So we'll do that. A couple of lines above the nostrils there, like that, just to make it look a bit more like nostrils. And that is basically it. Now, what we want to do from here on in is do some colouring in and we will do that in fast motion so it doesn't take a long long time uh, and you guys can take your time at home of course and uh, that is our first 
hand template animal and we'll be working on some more over the next few weeks of this term so I hope you enjoy that and uh, let's see the end result when I finish my colouring in bye for now Flint up. <laughs>